welcome everybody so in this video we will discuss about the latest vulnerability of uh, checkpoint security gateway uh, uh, cv uh, 2024 24919 uh, okay so uh, this uh, Vulnerability will applicable on the uh, uh, on the IPsec VPN uh, uh, VPN uh, with remote access VPN community and mobile access software Blade is enabled. So uh, it's applicable like IPsec VPN Blade is enabled, but only when include the include in the remote access VPN community. Okay, and second one is mobile access uh, software Blade is enabled. So you can consider as a SSL uh, VPN uh, vulnerability. Okay, so to remo uh, remediate this, uh, uh, Checkpoint has released the one hotfix. You need to install uh, on the, your uh, security gateway device. So uh, uh, you need to log in your uh, get, uh, uh, device. You have to uh, go to your uh, upgrade status, CPSU, and you have to uh, check for the updates. Once it's received the uh, update package av uh, available like this uh, for specific version you can uh, uh, click on and download and then you can install it and after install uh, it required the reboot device as well as okay or uh, you can al also uh, do the uh, offline uh, as well as so you can just download that hotfix package uh, uh, hotfix uh, package and you can uh, from here you can download the hotfix package and you, you can import here and you can uh, do the reboot as well as okay and uh, it's majorly applicable on this version like uh, this whole version are affected with this so it's a very critical vulnerability but vulnerability like it's a uh, like uh, information disclosure uh, vulnerability okay there is a no uh, uh, other uh, like uh, it's mostly accessing the sensitive information in the on the security device like uh, local users are created for vpn uh, or any uh, yeah like this okay and additionally uh, once you reboot the device you you need to cross verify this service by running this command okay uh, additionally to identify like uh, uh, your device is vulnerable, uh, vulnerable or not so checkpoint has provided the one script as well as okay so you can uh, go through this video to install or run the uh, script as well as but uh, yeah let me explain here you need to download this you need to access that uh, that uh, script okay and uh, you have to go to a gateway and server view security management server and object like there is a, a tool by like a script script repository like this okay and you have to add the uh, new or uh, you can mention the name of that uh, uh, cv or you can give any other name as well as and you can perform this load and uh, click on it okay like this okay and you can run it so uh, by running this script you can identify like uh, your device is uh, affected or not due to this vulnerability like this okay uh, additionally you can also cross verify like uh, ipsec vpn blade is enabled on the, uh, on that security gateway device or not so just you need to check that uh, device Okay, you can verify it here, like IPsec VPN Blade is enabled or not. If it's an enable, it's another tab, it's visible like uh, VPN. Okay, uh, link. Uh, let me enable this. Right now it's not enabled, but let me enable this. So let's say uh, IPsec VPN enabled. Okay, uh, if, once it's enabled, you can verify the VPN community under uh, security policy. Here are the VPN communities, okay. So here you can cross verify I, I remote IP, uh, remote access is configured or all users like which user you have configured locally or not. Okay. Uh, additionally, is the one signature as well as IPS signature. 
so that can be a uh, block your uh, traffic like if someone is trying to uh, uh, try to access uh, this or exploit this vulnerability so they have released the uh, one uh, sig ips signature as well as so okay so they have released this signature okay in ips if you search this signature uh, uh make sure it's uh, uh, updated uh, uh, with latest signature and install on the policy as well as okay so it can detect and block the attempt to exploit this cve okay uh, if you are not uh, installing a or not have any uh, maintenance window to reboot the device I meanwhile you can make sure your uh, uh, device has this uh, latest signature okay so it can be uh, detect and block the attempt attempts to the exploit this cve okay and make sure uh, uh, your uh, remote access vpn gateway behind the security gateway with both ips and https inspection is enabled okay but uh, yeah additionally you can uh, take extra measure like to change your uh, ldap account unit uh, unit password they have uh, mentioned all the step as well as i'm not explaining uh, each step but you can go through it reset the local account at connecting to vpn with password authentication prevent local account from connecting to vpn with password authentication renew server certificate for inbound https infection on the security gateway I renew the certificate for outbound HTTP inspection on the security gateway. Reset Gaia OS password for all local users. Regenerate the SSH local user certificate on the security uh, gateway in following case. Uh, and renew the certificate for SSH. So these are extra measures you can uh, implement uh, from your side. And if you have uh, uh, some additional FAQ, you can go through with this question. Like mostly they have mentioned few IPs. You can block this IP. Uh, but we can expect from uh, attacker can from any IP, but mostly they uh, research like this is the suspect IP address. You can block it as well as yeah. Uh, thanks for watching this video.